Hi, Ricky Zinn with In Living Focus, the fine art of conservation. And uh, I'm out in the woods today as I wish I was every day. And I am looking for the very elusive great gray owl. I was fortunate to see one yesterday after three and a half months of looking through the Arctic of Idaho. Now, the weather has changed a bit and we're starting to get some green, but what I'm really excited about is that there's not one, but I think there's two. I think there's a pair of great gray owls. And even the weather is still, still looks like snow. Snow is in the air, but uh, I'm still gonna get out there and uh, take you along with me and look for the great gray, so let's go. Okay, so I'm taking my uh, Nikkor 200 to 500 millimeter lens and my Nikon D850, and I'm looking for any signs of a great gray owl. So, I see him in the distance now. Let's, uh, let's get a little closer, but again, not too close. Always respect your distance with wildlife, even if they're not gonna hurt you. You never know. I love that look. So check this out. Excuse me. Oh, I'm branching out. I'm sorry I left you out on the limb with that one, didn't I? I'm barking up the wrong tree. Oh no, hold on, we're not gonna go here. Somehow this feeling just grows and grows With every sigh, I become more mad about you More lost without you, and so it goes Can you imagine? For me and only be you. My arms won't free you, and my heart won't try. My arms won't free you, and my heart won't try. Alright, so as you can see, I got some really, really cool video of the uh, Great Grey that actually landed on a pile of snow. Now this Great Grey didn't have only one rodent that it just caught. It must have been making some type of stockpile of rodents because as you can see by the video, he didn't eat just one. He ate four. Okay, so I have photos and video of this great gray eating four different rodents. So apparently they're like the snowy owl where they might collect a uh, hunt of more than one rodent and then consume it all at once or possibly share it with chicks. Well, 
Well, this guy finally found a place to rest, and is he exhausted after eating such a huge meal? The great gray owl's daytime feeding is usually near dawn or dusk, and as you can see here, it's really dusk. As I was filming this guy, his partner bird flew right over my head and landed. She was perched on a limb. She used her amazing hearing to locate prey, and then she plunged down into the thick brush and was out of sight for the night. Absolutely epic. I can't believe that I had the opportunity to not only film, but to photograph not one, but two great gray owls. And the best part is I got to share it with you. And I really hope you appreciated them. They are just so stunning and so important to our environment, to our ecosystem. They keep our rodent population way down. As you saw, that particular uh, owl ate four different rodents. And I did notice that it looked like they had a, one was a vole, one was a gopher, and the other two were kind of half gone. So I have no, no idea. But the important thing is that they are our natural rodent ridder okay not rodenticide or any other poison out there so the concern that i'm going to share with you the awareness we need to find an alternative to rodenticide rodenticide is a household used product that um actually is a poison and the problem with that is it doesn't just stay with the animal that consumes it that animal will walk outside uh, of the house or structure and in a weakened state, and then a raptor such as a great gray owl might come along and pick it up and consume it. As we have seen in some webcams where an eagle, a bald eagle, actually fed its chick a uh, rodent rat that had eaten rodenticide, and that poor chick died right there on the cam. And, um, well, for me, if I have rats or mice, I have always used live traps and relocated them. Don't worry, they don't come home like poochie poo they will stay where you put them. So that's a really kind way of getting rid of your rodent problem. With that in mind, let's find some way to conserve our environment in a more polite, sustainable way. It might not be our best way, but if it's best for the environment, that is the best way. So thanks again for coming here and enjoying this little video with me on In Living Focus, The Fine Art of Conservation. See you again.